Hi everyone, this is Jay from the Flutter Community Team. Hi everyone, my name is Mohamed Salih Güler and I'm also a, a Flutter Community member. Yeah, so uh, it's day two on uh, DroidCon this time and uh, we're having, it's a lot colder than yesterday. Yeah, it's the crazy Berlin weather, you know, like it's always crazy. The day before it can be like 38, 39 degrees and today you can have a thunderstorm or even yeah. a tsunami. Definitely, yeah, 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 but we're keeping up pretty well. Yeah. Um, yeah, so why don't you tell a little bit about yourself? Yeah, uh, again, hi. I'm Sally. I am a Flutter and Dart GD, a Google Developer Expert, and I'm a co-organizer of Flutter Berlin Meetup. And yeah, I've been developing developer, uh, Flutter since like late alpha stages. And yeah, cool. Cool. So how long would that be that you've been doing it? I think it's like one and a half years or so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, was like, young back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> back in my days, oh. you know. <laughs> good old. I mean, yeah, good old days. No, no, like when, when we started, it was like the packages that we have right now and everything was like completely different and we were we would have supposed to do everything by ourselves but now the community has grown in an enormous way that we almost have everything that we are looking for in the community packages or even coming from the Google team itself. Yeah, it's really great to see like that most of the stuff that you want to implement into an app is usually already out there. Exactly. Like, Alarm manager when I started, our, my, my first task was to implement an alarm manager actually. And I was like, okay, what the hell am I supposed to do? I was doing it for Android, put in the platform channel, then for iOS, I needed to talk to my iOS developer friend. But now we have almost everything that we can directly use out of the box from up.dev. Exactly, yeah, that's great. And um, you also have some packages on there, I believe? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, my, like, uh, my pro the package that I'm most proud of is called Before After View. And this before after view is, so you have two different, two different, two different views that you can use for like sliding and showing what is, be, what is the before view, what is the after view. I had this idea because like I was working in an app that was showing the historical view and the view that right now, and I just implemented this uh, picture behavior when you slide the slider. Right, it just right. shows the like current view and mm -hmm. the. And slides from, over to exactly, the second one. Exactly, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, it's really pretty cool, useful. yeah. Yeah, I see that a lot on web pages too. And so with Flutter Web, that, that might be a great inclusion to have. Exactly, exactly. I mean, especially not just that, like in... I've seen recently, especially in Germany, in Berlin, that people are coming up with the historical applications that they can use. Like they, they can do some free walking tours with, by using their applications, actually. So what they can do is basically, they can open up the app, go to a location and like do the previous uh, so before after view and they can see the real view and how it is exactly ah, right yeah, now. Yeah. It's Maybe throw a little awesome. bit of AR into yeah, that Yeah, exactly, something? exactly. That Ooh. would be fantastic actually. It's a good idea. Yeah, I will yeah. steal it. <laughs> Don't steal it. <laughs> Don't steal it. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so so what other stuff are you currently uh, currently doing, like day life? Uh, yeah, I mean, like in in day life, I uh, work as an Android engineer at a company called Bump Football. I mean, we basically it's a big application using like used by more than 10 million people. And actually, in a, in that application, I'm like currently adding some new stuff with Flutter, so we can have also in a bigger application that has this much active users. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, in my free time right now, I'm writing a book about Flutter as well, like how you can create and know about Flutter by uh, going over three different apps and making tutorials, like starting from scratch and going up to the advanced level that you can deploy actually your application. Right, cool. So you're using Add to App for that into the existing Android application? Uh, for, for, for the existing app application, actually, it's like basically it's... Uh, they run in parallel, so I have oh, my, okay. they have my, I have my Flutter page going on in some place, and I just call that and ah. direct myself to that by okay. using the things. Oh, okay, yeah. Add to, add to app for the people that don't know is when you include Flutter into an existing project. Yeah, right. Yeah, but as I said, for this one, the corpus is really, really huge. So instead of like making it part of it directly, I wanted to have it separately. So in case of like. In case of we make it bigger, in the meantime, we can just cut off some part from the other part so we can like control what's going on. Right, separate yeah. your concerns that way. Exactly, okay. exactly. And it Good gives me more freedom. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah. And so any plans for what you want to be doing in the future, since you're still doing Android now? But... Yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, right now, um, my, my biggest plan is right now, after I'm uh, publishing the book, I want to have some, like, 
like real flutter projects that I want to work on or even like talk to my company and like kick off them uh, with the rewrite maybe with the flutter because the the idea can be perfectly implemented in flutter I mean in this use case we can have a really beautiful application that we can use mm -hmm. uh, by uh, by flutter it's so it's over there but besides that what I'm doing is I'm doing mostly community works as well. Like for example, in Turkey, I started Flutter Turkey page like three months ago or so. So what we do is basically we translate the good material by asking to the writers, obviously, and translating them to Turkish. Oh, so cool. people can have these resources. Like I'm doing that, my sister is right now also like doing it. And we are also looking for editors if someone is interested. Well, there you go, there's a call to action. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, like, we are like making meetups for example this week and uh, this no at the 20th we have arranged a flutter study jam in ankara in turkey so i'm also arranging these meetups mm -hmm. or in this turkish community somehow like contacting with the people and like having a big community that is part of a whole so my main focus is right now on community than the prof professional life itself but mm -hmm. as professional life like book is like taking almost the rest of my day so yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's I harder than so. it seems believe yeah, me yeah yeah there's a lot more appreciation that might be yeah i need to go to uh, towards those resources mm -hmm. awesome okay cool. well thank you for being here yeah then. thank you and, for uh, having me i'm thank happy you for watching. thanks for being on the show Let's yeah thank you very much properly. yes yeah. <laughs> yeah thank you for watching and uh you can click around here if you want to see more uh, of the flutter community uh, channel and we'll see you next time